Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, Flyfish Fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Today we'll be tying a little dry fly kind of pattern. Um, this is actually, I can you can use it as a dry fly, um, and I do, um, especially on the rivers, but in the lakes, I like using this one um, subsurface in a team. Um, so if you can use three flies or two flies or four flies, great. If you can't, if you can only use one, just great on a sink tip. So here we go. Starting with a Hens BL254N in a size 10. Oh, by the way, if you hear me yelling stop, it's because my uh, I got a timer going in for my dinner, so <laughs> I might yell stop in the middle of this. So first things first, like, like I said, a Hens BL254 size 10. Um, turn that so you guys can actually read it. Semperfly Classic Waxed in a 12 aught in gray. So I'll start that. Get just a little base layer, cut that off. It's a really simple pattern, guys. Um, this is Stu Thompson's dark water dubbing. Um, this is an orange, I don't know what color he calls it, it's a, like a burnt orange kind of. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that dubbing and just make sure that the fibers are lined up, okay? And once the fibers are lined up, I'm just gonna have them like that, okay? And I want to have this so it sticks past about that much. So about there, like that. And I'm just going to tie that down. And I want to tie it all the way in from the front because I want to keep this body fairly symmetrical. And just tie that into there. Cut that off. Keep that. I mean, it's not that much, but. So there's my little tail. Let's get that wet. Okay, now next is some Semperfly wire, 0.2 mil in a light gold. It's kind of an orangey gold kind of color. And uh, just gonna tie that in. This is just gonna be my counter rib for my hackle. So tie that in. Okay, and now just simply take that another dark water dubbing from Stu Thompson. This is kind of it's there. It's gray and it's got these little little flecks in it. These little silvery flecks in it. I actually should get uh, do an interview with with Stu and get him on. Explain to you guys his material. This stuff is so good. It's I've never had another dubbing so soft. It's just it's amazing stuff. So soft, so easy to dub on, um, and. Uh, it just it's just got those those little UV properties in it and it's just amazing. So I'm just gonna build up just a little bit more right at the front here. There we go. Leave a little bit of space. Next I'm gonna be using some um, this is from Whiting Farms. Uh, this is a uh, uh, um, medium done. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one little piece here and just strip off my Tip, making sure I've got a tie-in point there. Pull that stem back if you can. Usually I like giving it just a half hitch or one one turn whip finish here. Ooh, am I gonna make it before my timer goes off and I don't have to yell at you? <laughs> we'll see. So two to three turns right at the front and then I'm gonna open up And a fairly close palmer back. I want quite a few rotations. Okay. Now I'm going to catch that in with my wire. And then just wrap my wire forward through that hackle right to the front. Stop. Hey there. I didn't have to yell too loud. So just once I get this done, I just gotta go switch over my thing for dinner here. So, so get that uh, tied in. Slick everything back. Just make sure that's tied in well. Take my wire and helicopter it off. Take my 
hackle and nip that off or break it off depending on the quality of your hackle I know this stuff's really good so um, breaking it off is a little bit more difficult slick everything back nicely and give yourself a bit of a whip finish right up at the front here and guess what we are done that is it it's a simple simple little pattern but whoo there we go simple little pattern but it is so effective like i said use it as a dry fly if you want if i when i do tie this in a dry fly i use a semperfly capoc dubbing instead of the Stu thompson dubbing it just helps float a bit more but other than that these are it's kind of like a griffith's gnat griffith's gnat um, but it's got this little fiery tail and it's it's and it's gray right instead of the black typical black of the gnat but uh, yeah when this thing gets wet and slicked back um, that little red um, orangey little hot spot tail um, is deadly it just and, and, and like I said in a team with a like a gurgler or a booby or something like that at the, at the point um, with uh, with um, one of these and maybe another wet fly like a little uh, a little or a pot, um, um, partridge in orange or something just phenomenal so alrighty hope you guys enjoyed that one sorry about the having a yell stop there but like I said I tried to get one in I thought I could get a video done in, in the time but obviously not so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that give her a thumbs up if you did if you didn't uh, if you've subscribed sorry uh, please because uh, thank you if you haven't please consider doing so we'll see you guys on the next time video Thailands.